1923, Lon Chaney's brilliant characterization of Quasimoto in The Hunchback of Notre Dame played on the audience's tendency to stereotype, to prejudge individuals according to their appearance rather than understand them for who they really were. Stop dictating. It's been nearly a century since the hunchback of Notre Dame horrified audiences in the silent movie houses. But have attitudes changed much in 95 years? Or do we still judge far too quickly the content by the cover? Show me writer's block. The current project is untitled. To continue, you may wish to review your outline, explore the suggestion box, or view great writer's methods. Sometimes a short break helps to stimulate ideas. Perhaps you'd enjoy a pleasant walk. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad yet. Um, show me the outline. Your next heading is Technology's Impact on Attitudes Toward People with Disabilities. The subheading is the catalyst for change. Okay, I need some examples. Um, where can we go for information about how attitudes and expectations have changed toward people with disability in the last, say, 15 or 20 years? I have a list of consultants who provide data excerpts in related areas. There is also a media index called Capabilities Enhancement. Good, show me the index, hold the list. You guys just finished an entire box of cookies. Mom, the science that makes you hungry. Besides, it was an entire box. You had some, too. One, I had one. Well, maybe two. Honey, it's too early for dinner. I'm working against a deadline. Can you wait about an hour? Maybe. The lonely, unappreciated scientific genius forges on despite enormous odds. <laughs> right. Happy forging. Bye. Okay, so much for the hydrogen iodide. One more unit and we're done. Now, wait a second. What do you think would happen if we use chlorine with this? Zach, don't do this to me, please. Come on. What's your sense of adventure? Trust me. <laughs> Show me this one. Hi, Cindy. Well, hi there, Cindy. What's cooking today? I'm cooking some strawberry cake for Mom's birthday. A strawberry cake for Mom's birthday? Okay. First, let's get our equipment a big spoon, a mixing bowl, and your special measuring cup. Okay. The first thing to do is to put the measuring cup on the scale. Good. Now, pour in three quarters cup of milk. That's it, keep pouring. Cindy, you stopped. You need one quarter cup more. Here, I'll show you. Fill it up to the yellow line. Okay. Three quarters of a cup. That's it. Keep pouring. All the way up to the yellow line. That's it. Good. Now, make sure you stir the batter until it is smooth and creamy. Cindy, are you finished yet? Yep. Did you get all of the lumps out? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Now put the baking bowl into the microwave and I'll take care of the rest. I'll call you when it's ready, then we can put on the strawberries. Pickles, 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 pickles. Well, Cindy, that should just about do it. I hope you had fun making Mom's birthday cake. I think she'll really be surprised. <laughs> Good. Save this in the presentation folder. Show me the main index again. It's not doing anything. Good. We'll just submit the results and we'll move to the next one. No, wait, maybe we should try heating it up. Can't believe this. You have a call coming in from Carter at Living Designs. Shall I take a message? No, that's fine. I'll take it. Carter! I don't believe it. The world's busiest writer actually answering a call. Yeah, I know. It's kind of a treat, isn't it? <laughs> so what'd you come up with? What? Well, let's take a look. Hmm? Behold, your family room before living designs. And now your family room with ramp, a widened doorway, easy deck access, and reachable bookshelves. Not bad, huh? Oh, that's wonderful. So, you'll call me when you're ready to start remodeling? Yeah, sometime next week. Is that all right? Perfect. Bye. Wow, I think we just discovered hydrochloric acid, partner. Now it's at the boring. Zach, I just realized something. And now for the hydrogen. Zach. Don't these halogens, as you go up the periodic table, don't they get volatile? You know what I'm saying? Never mind. Gentlemen, we can discuss this particular reaction tomorrow in lab. In the meantime, please review the program on halogens before it means the end of civilization as we know it. I'll make sure Lyle does that right away, sir. Good luck. Some partner. Shut down. This document is unnamed. What is your title? Good question. Hey, Einstein, you got any good ideas what I should call this thing? Call what? The project I'm working on. I don't know. Is it finished? No. <gasps> I just got started, really. Chapter one, that's not a bad idea. Okay, you guys, let's see.